911 call and radio transmissions of the incident. On 7-10-2019 at 23-16-34 hours, the 911 call came in from the complainant at Madison and State Street. I'm just going to play like the first two minutes, about a five, eight minute 911 call, but just the first two minutes will be played. Jacksonville 911, what's the location of the emergency? Yes, is it possible you can have an officer come out here at um, Madison and Ashley? Because there's a man in a wheelchair. No, no, Madison and Ashley. Madison. Oh, State. Excuse me, excuse me, State. Madison, Madison and State. State. Okay. Right. Hold on, let me see if I can find that. Okay. Is that a business, or are you at a business, or just at the intersection? No, no. Um, you know where the dialysis center is? Okay. What's going on there? Yeah. There's a, a guy with a knife up to this guy in a wheelchair's throat. The guy with the knife. Is he black, white, or Hispanic? He's Hispanic. What color clothing is he wearing? He's got on all red. Red shorts, red shirt. Did you say he has a knife to his throat? Yeah. To the guy in the wheelchair. He's sitting there. He ain't saying nothing. Is there but, um, in front of the dialysis center? No, they're across the street. Across? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm putting all this information in. Okay, just stay on the line with me. I'm going to gather some additional information from you. Yeah, I tried to talk to him. He ain't trying to hear me, so. Then at 7 10 58 hours, an assault in progress is dispatched out with a Hispanic male in all red to armed with a knife. Apologize for the typo there with the 7. So it's like your Alpha 1, it's an in progress at Madison and West State, Madison and West State, it's going to be the Dallas Center. It's crossing the 20, Hispanic male, all red, clothing, signaling zero with the knife. 23, 19, 12 hours, just continuation of that dispatch call by HD to the uh, officer. Has the knife to his throat on a wheelchair, what's the mic on a wheelchair, Alpha 255? 23, 22, 25 hours. Alpha 255 was Officer T.L. Landerville. Said he's arrived and he had advised. Hey, T.L. 235 tonight, so I'll uh, Then at 23, 22, 37, Officer Landerville advises the suspect has a knife to the victim's throat. Hey, T.L. 255, being advised, suspect has a knife to the victim's throat. 23, 23 hours, uh, Officer Landerville. Advisor shots fired. He's got one down. Let's start rescue. HL 255, shots fired. Got one down. Start rescue. 23, 24, 28 hours. Officer Landerville said they were, he's basically given an exact location on State Street. So they're at State and Madison, just east of the BP on State Street. Uh, for 235, we are at State and Madison. We are just east of BP on State Street. Start 
Two fifty five. Don't drive too fast. We got a uh, whiskey mic down. Three gunshots to the head. Uh, for 245, we are at State and Madison. We are just east of BP on State Street. Oh. Unit on State, turn around. All right, sir, go ahead and back up for me. You guys go ahead and get over here for me. I need to get away from him. Are you okay? Are you guys okay? Did he actually stab you? No, he had the knife to my throat. Okay. I was sleeping. He raised it down my face and then he put it to my throat and told me I had three seconds. I am east of the VP on state. Blocking uh, westbound traffic on State Street. Like I was saying, there's three still shots I took while viewing this, the body worn camera. One I want to show is Officer Lambdell comes up on his radio saying he's being advised that the suspect has a knife to the victim's throat. This is probably during that interaction he had with the two complaints as he's walking up and going through there, showing that. Then as his approach, um, got that view, and then this one here when he actually says something to the subject. These uh, next few slides are actually scene photos from that night from our crime scene unit, uh, just de uh, depicting different uh, points of view. The scene, look in, you've got State Street here. Like I said, it's a one-way street, actually runs this way. Um, if, if from east to west, that's Madison Street, Dallas is center over in this general area. Again, another perspective shot, looking from the east to west, got the BP station there, Madison Street. The slide showing the um, placards, the suspect, where the suspect is, suspect weapon, the blade, the actual, it was uh, like a flip top knife with a three and a half inch blade. Then items eight, nine, and 17 are nine millimeter shell casings from Officer Landerville's firearm. So our victim, Mr. Ira Hall, he was uh, actually, I think, 59. He was, he was 59 years of age. I'm showing, like I said, on the, on the body worn camera, you can hear he mentions, or even whenever we interview him, mentions that at first, first contact with the suspect. Suspect actually scrapes the knife across his uh, face. Our subject involves is Frankie Feliciano, white male, 419 of 86. His age was 33. His criminal history had one felony charge, one felony conviction six misdemeanor charges and four misdemeanor convictions. And there's no documented Baker Act. 
medical examiner's office. Senator is Frankie Feliciano, ME number 19-1580. Dr. Nicoliscu performed the autopsy. Toxicology had nicotine in the system. It was blood alcohol for 0.138. His cause of death was multiple gunshot wounds, and the manner of death was ruled as a homicide. Officer Landerville's weapon inventory utilizes Glock Model 34, serial number 0.0. 